Hi guys, hi guys, welcome to another fuck this starter pack. Ugh. Um, yeah, this, every time you fucking open up the game, this starter pack is just like surprise, motherfucker. And I'm like, fuck off, you know, I don't want you. I mean, I've already discussed this in another video, but this guy, this guy just keeps. Ugh. Um, war recap time. What was the war called again? Excavators engagements. Engagements, like, is that what I think? I know what an engagement is, but is this like another kind of engagement? I sincerely hope it's another engagement, otherwise I'm like, meh. Uh, so let's go to the leaderboard be before I uh, fall into sleep again. Uh, Eternality got top 150, the usual. The Legends came in first. And they were practically first for the entire war. It seems like 3D has uh, top 1 on uh, wars and... Empire has top one on raids, practically always. <laughs> yes, there's just these exceptions. Uh, one then once in a year, then 3D gets top one, and Bomb or Bombi on time gets top one or something. You know, exceptions are always to be made, but that's not what we are going to talk about right now. We are going to do the recap. I'm filled with energy and I don't even know where the fuck I got it from, so Renegade Revolts came in seconds just at the end of the Y. They practically gave Bombi on time the slip and Bombi on time came in third. So the Death Knights 2 was actually planning on pushing top 3 but apparently Renegade's Revolt was also pushing top 3 and Renegade Revolt got it, so DK2 you tried. Knights of Trust was actually going at it uh, the first time as well. I don't know if they actually wanted to go top 3 or they just, they just had this much gems. Gods of Wrath, Cactus Prophets, there's a hole of 6 million between these guys, or 5. 5.5 five million. Dark Carnival, Hidden Sand Village, Italian Boys, and yeah, the top 10 was practically sealed after the second or the first or the second day. A couple of a couple of hours into the war, it was already sealed because, uh, yeah, Italian boys was actually a sanctioned top twenty, top twenty-five. They got pushed up ten. Great, going to you guys. Origins, Gladiators, Black Hearts, Italiani, Order Terra Nova, and OTRT. Congrats on your top fifteen armor, whatever the fuck it was. I, I'm, I'm not even keeping track of all the names anymore. Like, I a year ago, I actually used to always keep track of the epics and the legendaries because that. Back then it was more fun. And now it's like... The stats with a Shadow Forged are almost 8000. And I'm... It's just going too fast, you know. Ever since Dragon Forge came out, Greed decided to uh, do every... to rush things and everything and that just... It costs too much time, you know. You just need to take your time for things and Doing because Shadow Forged, they're not even out for that long yet. And Dragon Forged, like how how long did the epics uh, were the best tier before Dragon Forged came out? I think uh, Dragon Forged had were the best tier for half of the time that epics were the best tier. Like six months or something, and then Shadow Forged came out. Then Green was like, oh, not a tier. And yeah, the top 15 was basically uh, just, uh, wa like, I said, like I already said in another, in other recaps, I walk in top 15 because everybody could have gone top 15 right there. And Solaris and OTRT, the difference is 9k. I already saw this yesterday and I was like, oh. Yeah, that, that's always a pity. So, North America, Holy Up Mass, the Diablo, Guerreros, Latinos. I don't know if I actually say that right, I'm not... Uh, uh, Latinos, Goeros, I guess. Rising Revenge, GM28. I don't, still don't know what that actually stands for, but I I always love how these guilds are like you. Never heard of them. Like GM28, I've never heard of them. They recently got uh, maxed by, by their branch, the MOM, I guess. And then suddenly you always see them pushing for top 50 and top 25 and everything. And that's the same. Uh, th there's also other guilds that that did that, you know, you, you never see them in top 25 and then suddenly when they get close to maxing or something they're like top 25, top 50, top 10 I don't know why the branches do that, but I guess it's uh, some kind of, uh, how do you say that? 
propaganda. QC Elite Crew, Triplex Danger and 40 Reborn Warriors. So the two girls that didn't make it were Conqueror Ignites and TMOM. TMOM gave in a while ago actually because of, uh, they, they were close to top 25 the entire war so why didn't they do it right now and if you can wait I'll just go and get the phone Sorry guys, the phone rang. I'll probably put uh, put up uh, elevator music on that. But um, like I said, TMOM did not make it. They gave they gave in. Uh, I think the second day already or something, judging by the points. So yeah, that's the difference already. And then there's also another thing. <laughs> I would like to apologize to the number fifty one Todos Rita or however you want to call the name because I can't spell some names. Uh, TSR actually was planning on pushing top 50 and last war they matched us. And they jammed a fuck ton but I was stripped and they weren't so I was like dressing because fuck you. <laughs> yeah it's so sorry guys but they were jamming heavy they, they were really like or well, yeah, what whatever you can call heavy. But what actually happened is they didn't get top fifty because of us. And how many points were they behind them? They were less than two hundred points behind them. Two hundred points. That is absolutely nothing. Because four mil if you can do four million, then why not two hundred, you know? So I'm sorry guys, but if you would have done MDR 